Cyclotron, scientists E. O. Lawrence and M. S. Livingstone constructed the first cyclotron in 1934 AD, which is used to accelerate charged particles. To understand how a cyclotron works, consider the motion of a positively charged particle moving with velocity v bar and entering perpendicularly uniform magnetic field of intensity b bar as shown in the figure. The force acting on the charged particle is f bar equals to q v bar cross b bar equals to q v b sine theta equals to q v b since sine theta equals to pi by 2. Under the effect of this force, the charged particle performs uniform circular motion in a plane perpendicular to the plane formed by V and B. Therefore, QVB equals to MV square by R and R equals to MV by QB equals to P by QB where P is the linear momentum of the charged particle. Putting V equals to R omega C, where omega C is called the angular frequency of the cyclotron. R equals to M R omega C by QB. Omega C equals to QB by M and FC equals to QB by 2 by m. The equation shows that the frequency does not depend on the momentum. Hence, on increasing momentum on the particle, the radius of its circular path increases, but its frequency does not. This fact is used in the design of the cyclotron. The figure shows side view and top view of cyclotron. Construction Two D-shaped boxes are kept with their diameters facing each other with a small gap as shown in the figure. A uniform magnetic field is developed in the space enveloped by the two boxes with a strong electromagnet. These two boxes are called D's as they are D-shaped. An AC of high frequency is applied between the two D's the device is kept in an evacuated chamber in order to avoid the collision of charged particles with the air molecules. Working, a positively charged particle is released at the center P of the gap at time T equals to zero. It gets attracted towards the D which is at a negative potential at that time. It enters the uniform magnetic field between the D's perpendicularly and performs uniform circular motion in the gap. As there is no electric field inside the D's, it moves on a circular path of radius depending upon its momentum and comes out of the D after completing a half circle. As the frequency of AC, FA, is equal to FC, the diameter of the opposite D becomes negative when the particle emerges from one D and attracts it with a force which increases its momentum. The particle then enters the other D with larger velocity and hence moves on a circular path of larger radius. This process keeps on repeating and the particle gains momentum and hence radius of its circular path goes on increasing but the frequency remains the same thus the charged particle goes on gaining energy which becomes maximum on reaching the circumference of the D's. When the particle is at the edge it is deflected with the help of another magnetic field brought out and allowed to hit the target such accelerated particles are used in the study of nuclear reactions, preparation of artificial radioactive substances, treatment of cancer, and 
Iron implantation in solids. Limitations. According to the theory of relativity, as velocity of the particle approaches that of light, its mass goes on increasing. In this situation, the condition of resonance Fa equals to Fc is not satisfied. To accelerate very light particles like electrons, AC of very high frequency of the order of gigahertz is required. It is difficult to maintain a uniform magnetic field of a large size Ds. Hence, accelerators like synchrotone are developed.